Thank you for the sub. It means a lot to me. Oh, I am. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm like, I'm way out of it. I I have zero energy in my body. I'm just gonna try to like fake it till I make it. I'm gonna be honest. Just gonna throw it out there. It'd be like it is when it do. But thank you for tuning into the broadcast this evening here. Uh, representing the Slapshot Premier League here on the SPL Network. I'm going to be, I, I, I am Darth. I'm going to be your lead commentator, your play-by-play and sports analysis as we move in through the evening. We have four matchups on the board here tonight, starting at 8.30. We got the Colorado Cobras taking on the Plymouth Plague. We got a triple header for the Plymouth Plague after the first matchup here at 9. Um, we'll be taking a look at the Plymouth Taking on the Winter Park Owls, another tough matchup here in technically Plymouth's first week. Uh, this is one of the postponed matches from week number one. And um, yeah, I think this might be their last postponed match that they're going to be getting out of the way. But Plymouth, um, not playing in the first week, have all six matches this week. And so um, with six matches to be had, we're going to be seeing a lot of the boys in the um, the doctor masks. But um, yeah, we got three, three matches for Plymouth. First being at 8.30 against the Cobras. Second being against the Winter Park Owls at 9 o'clock. And then at 9.30, the Tampa Bay Turtles hosting the Plymouth Plague to finish off that triple header. And then after they're done with that, we're going to finish off the night at 10 o'clock sharp with a little bit of a challenger matchup. A Dennis-less Delmarva Dandy Skaters will be trying to fend for their, themselves against the West Virginia Orangutans. And if you're unaware of the challenger standings, here they are as of this morning. Um, New Jersey Noobs right now being undefeated with 10 points, leading the pack by um, two and a half games. Northern Hills Voodoo have an overtime loss to their record. They are 2-1-1. One, and one. We're going to take this one even farther into week number two. West Virginia Rangitan is going to be on the ballot here tonight as they're the third seed. They'll be taking on the fifth seed, the Delmarva Dandy Skaters. Um, the reason there's only nine people, or nine teams, nine organizations, in the challenger division the maui monkeys signed up we put them in challenger and they dropped out two hours into the first day um so here we are with nine um intermediates down to 18 we're just trying to get to the end of the season we're getting closer four more weeks of this and then we'll have playoffs and then we will be doing promotional relegation and playoffs but until then we're just going to try to hunker down and get this one going once we get outside of summer everything kind of mellows out but until we get there it's going to be a rough ride and we're going to just try to stay in the saddle for as long as we can here in this rodeo if you're interested in the pro division um here are the standings right now one undefeated team the dark horse from season two of Slapshot Rebound, Yosemite Grizzlies right now 4-0 and on the standings. Um, they came close to losing a few of their matches, but they did, in fact, squeeze them out. Um, namely, the one against the Vice back last Sunday. If you want to go check that out, it's in the Archives channel here on YouTube. Check down below for a button to get your link to that channel. Um, I'm going to try to get all of my broadcasts onto that account sooner rather than later everything spl wise is represented there regardless of what channel it was uploaded from i've done my best to scour the internet for all forms of um all forms of games we'll see uh we'll see how i keep that one together of course not all broadcasts are archived it's up to the casters to do that themselves i archived all of my broadcasts that i've done for spl um except maybe two I don't remember. There's probably a gap in there somewhere where I just forgot to do it. But nonetheless, here we are tonight. Uh, SPL Network. I'm Darth. We're going to be doing this one by the books. Uh, let's get to know our first matchup here a little bit better. Colorado Cobras taking on the Plymouth Plague. Plymouth being the away team. They'll be on the left side of your screen in their purple and the green. And the Colorado Cobras for the first time, I think, this season. As far as I my broadcasts have gone, this will be the first time they're going to be in their blue on the right side. Of course, T, Rominator, Flaccid, and Fitness uh, Pacer Fitness Test is going to be out there on the ice for the boys in purple, the boys in green. Um, Pacer Fitness not playing a game so far in the season. We'll get more into that later. He's going to be a contention for Rookie of the Year. I think he's the only rookie in the Pro Division so far that I've noticed. Um, we don't really have that much depth to have Rookie of the Year as an award anymore because it's normally just one person that comes out of the blue, really blows everybody out of the water. And, um, you know, naturally... There's only one contestant, there's only one award, or there's only one um, person to vote on for the award, so we pro we might not bring it back. We might still, um, we just have to bend the definition of what a rookie really means. But nonetheless, uh, Plymouth Plague, T, Rominator, Flaccid, right now, uh, they're looking to take on the Colorado Cobras, Panarin's new team, breaking the shackles from the uh, Columbus Clappers, taking on another, um, another CC name. 
Colorado Cobras. Rocky, well, the captain of this team, Panarin Crusade, Renard. Renard being the substitution for this team. Um, it'll be interesting to see how um, these two um, brands really just shape up and see uh, how they represent themselves out there on the ice. Getting more into the statistical overview of these two teams, Colorado Cobras. Um, right now, Rocky Bow leading the way of the goal column. Right now, uh, four goals ahead of Panarin. Panarin, of course, I think leading the division in possession time. 282 seconds on the dot with the puck on his stick. Uncontested. The way possession is um, calculated in slap shot rebound is there is a radius around your player. If you're the only one if the puck's the only thing inside that radius, it starts to counter. If anybody from the opposing team enters that radius with the puck, it doesn't count for either of you. But, you know, it's, it's kind of a Venn diagram situation. If you're both, if the puck's within both of your radiuses, it doesn't count towards either of your timers. If it's only within one of yours, it counts for that person's timer. If that makes sense, um, I don't have a visual representation of that. You're just going to have to, like, use your imagination and roll with that one. Plymouth Plague right now in the lobby. Rominator Flaccid and T just jumped in here. T bringing me home some bagels from Walmart as um, he was reportedly going to be late, but right now he's right on time as far as I'm concerned. And uh, Pace Friend says also in the lobby, he's going to be on the bench to start off the game. Um, for the statistics, on the other side of the ice, though, the Plymouth Plague right now, T being the main honcho back behind the pipes playing the three position, and that's why he has the most possession time. And um, we'll see how the rest of this one really goes out. You know, um, Rominator playing more of the deep one position from the last matchup I got to see them play. Um, I think if Plymouth's going to win here, they're going to have to support each other as a team. Really get those passing lanes open for T, because if T doesn't have a passing option, he's kind of stuck in his own end. Um, odds are he's going to be 50-ing Rocky Bone Crusade most of the match. So as long as T's stick game is down, um, it, it most, in fact, was against the Miami Vice. But uh, we'll see how the sword fights go as the night continues. And as the Colorado Cobras finish, them, finish their uh, little pub match, a little warm-up going on. Um, sorry, power just flipped out. I feel that on a personal level, Rocky Bo. <laughs> um, at 6.26, my time, Eastern time, my power have completely cut out for an hour and a half. I pray that um, mine stays on long enough to get this broadcast over and done with, but I have no guarantee or patent for that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? For that claim. But uh, hopefully, we're gonna hope and pray, and that's how we get through most of our broadcasts anyway, so it's not gonna be much of a difference here tonight. Um, maybe we'll see uh, Renard take to the ice for the first time, maybe not. We're gonna see what happens here shortly. As all six parties are ready to rock, ready to roll, we're gonna take it down to the ice for 15 minutes of slap shot between the Plymouth Plague and the Colorado Cobras, once the game capture wants to start. Puck is dropped. The game is on. Colorado on the right side. Plymouth on the left. If the game audio is too loud, let me know. It sounds incredibly loud for me, but, you know, it sometimes just be like that for me. Nice shot by Raman here just off the far side. Brought down to the near side. Here's Panarin picking this one up for the Colorado Cobra. Swap, swap down to the near side. Battle along the boards. Crusade forced out of T. Here's Panarin once more with this one. Leaning towards the top side of the ice off the forehand. A little dimsy dish getting that one out to the blue line. Flaccid getting a touch on that one. Keeping this one down low for Plymouth. Buck leaning up to the top side corner. Rocky Bow sent back down Panarin. Panarin along the top side corner of his own defensive end. Looking for a passing opportunity. Crusade a little open down the near side. Tries to hit him. Crusade sent back over to Panarin. Panarin there with a nice reversal back over Crusade. Crusade off the backhand. Shot up against T. Panarin banks this one off the boards back to himself. Leaning towards the top side boards, gets past one. Nice shot, deflected wide by T out at this faceoff circle. T gaining possession, takes this one down the near side for the play. Goes off Flaccid's forehead, goes up, not over though. And that one was about 20 feet in the air if you weren't able to see that. T almost able to gain possession of that one down the near side. Here's Rocky Ball off the back and thrown out in front. Crusade swinging at that one, not quite able to make contact as he sends this one back down into his own defensive end. Panarin there sends this one top side. Here's Crusade off the back end, lobs this one into the near side corner of the Plymouth territory. Rocky Ball, Flaccid, do battle along the deep end of the Plague's territory. Plague getting that one out of his own zone. 
Armator lost over to Panarin, sent back into the Plymouth territory. Here's T back in his own end, looking to take this one out from behind his own cage. Rocky Bow eyeing him up from across the fence, trying to force him out one way nor the other. T, a little stick waggle there off the back end, throws this one towards Flaxa, going over his stick and down the full 200. Panarin lobs this one down center avenue, nice deflection by T, keeps that one out, gets a ward of the save with a little bit of a, a cheeky let go. Panarin. Taking this one back behind his own goal line. Sent down the near side. Out of the point. Here's Crusade. Down the near side. Shot scores! And the Colorado Cobras had an early lead with 3.07 remaining in the first period of action. We have a 1-0 game. Aaron winning this face off away. Blasted sent back into his own defensive end to his captain. T. Pinned up behind his own goal. Lost over to Crusade. Crusade there with a bank pass. Looking for a little panhandle. Rocky Bell out in front. Not able to hit Panarin on the tape as it leaks out to the far side of the Plymouth zone. Flaccid trying to battle along the boards, trying to get that one away from Panarin. Panarin there knocked loose over to Rocky, but Rocky, but down the far side boards, looking to lob it out to Crusade, but Flaccid James just went out in front, Ro Rominator over to uh, Flaccid yet again, not quite able to snap that one on target. Rominator loosens this one up, far side point shot taken, but blocked away by Rocky, though. T along the far side boards, pins this one up, trying to get his team some time to get back on defense as this one is sent over to Panarin. Panarin down center avenue, off the forehand, thrown down low into the far side uh, far side slot. Crusade there, not able to take possession as Rominator finishes this one back over to Flaccid. Down the near side board, a little bank pass out of his own territory. Panarin there sends this one back right where it came from. Flaccid taking his time off the far side, looking to take this one off the hip. Crusade there with a shot blocked away by Flaccid. Rominator shoots, hits the pipes, and it does in fact go into the back of the netting. And we're tied at one. What a shot right from the back end. Just enough on it to get that one between the goalpost and the kick in fact was good with 207 remaining. We're tied. Rominator looking to do it again off the forehand, looking for Flaccid's helmet, not quite hit, able to hit him off the Valkyrie. Rominator not done yet, jamming this one into the top side corner. Panarin there trying to gain possession for the boys in blue, but Flaccid led us over to Rominator, past him, letting this one go down to the near side corner. T with a beautiful stick check against Crusade, wins this one back to Flaccid, not able to beat out Crusade. And Rocky Bo just walks that one in with the W key, and we have a Cobra lead again. 143 remaining, Crusade with a nice board battle, wins that one away, and that's the whole reason that goal came to be. First period continues as the puck is dropped. Panarin sent down to the near side. Crusade there lobbing this one back for Panarin. Panarin here, the former Columbus Clapper, up to the top side, hits Flaccid off the tip of the stick. Rocky Bell out of the point, looking to work his magic. Flaccid there sending this one down to the near side. Rominator looking to reverse this one back down behind his own goal. T towards the top side of the ice, down center. Trying to get this one around Rocky, but Rocky Bell steals this one away. Looks for the bank pass back to uh, Panarin. Panarin there with a bank pass of his own over to Crusade, back to Panarin. Panarin down low, trying to get away from Rominator. Rominator has been hounding him on this offensive drive. Gets this one out of his own zone. Blasted off the back end, swings this one down near side. Panarin with a beautiful read on that one, able to seal that one away. Keeps this one in the offensive end for Colorado. Blasted hits Rominator along the top side, bringing this one down around the near. Off the back end, looking for Flaccid off the top side boards. Good shot. Not quite the accuracy he needed. T back to the near side point, bringing this one back out to Rominator. Rominator jams this one through, holds the W key like a champ. And able to beat out Crusade for the time being, but Crusade wins this one back, finds Panarin. Panarin off the forehand, gets this one through the traffic. I don't know how that one worked, but with 40 seconds remaining in the first period of action, the Colorado Cobras are in the lead by two. T thought, but he in fact was had. Good deflection by T on the long bomb. Here's Rominier back in his own end. Looking to work his magic down the near side with 30 seconds remaining. Rominator top side. Flaccid Light is here at the red line. Looking to get this one past. Able to fake out Panarin. Not able to beat out Rocky Bow though. Crusade sla slapped wide by Flaccid. Flaccid here letting out one go to TT with a nice little dangle. A little backhand to forehand action. Not quite able to hit the netting on the long shot. Over to Rom. Nice shot on Panarin with a beautiful save. And wow, what a play that would have been. T off the near side from the block from Crusade. Blasted Lettuce with a backhand attempt into the corner. T able to pick this one up, taking this one top side, but that's going to do it for this period of action. The end of the first. We have a 3-1 game. Good matchup so far. Six shots have been had. So far, only one save apiece from each side of the pond. 37 passes. I'm sure we're going to see plenty more. Renard has entered the lobby. we got all eight players out here to show up for this matchup. So substitutions are plentiful. But uh, as we take this one back down to the ice, same rosters as we started with. The second period is underway. Cobra's on the right. Plymouth on the left. 
Puck is dropped. The game is on. Panarin there wins this one away. Dumps this one down to start us off here in the second period of action. Raman here to top side of TT with a backhand shot. Stopped by Panarin. Panarin here at his far side. Hashmark looking to bring this one down the near side. Crosses the blue. Crosses the red. Off the forehand. Rockman shoots. Scores! What a goal! Colorado bringing it up 4-1. Wow! Textbooks, textbook one time right in front of the crease. One man back. Very difficult angle to hold off. Colorado taking full advantage of it. Rocky Bell down the near side. Off the forehand. Shooting. Nice save by T. T here back for the Plymouth Plague. Looking to take this one down towards the near side. Good fake off from Rocky Bow. Rocky Bow sticking to him though. T towards the top side of the ice. Little stick waggle. Looking to get a passing option. Rocky Bow. T a little stick tapping action. Seeing who's better at it. Gets this one towards Flaccid just out of his reach. Down into the corner of the Colorado zone. Here's Panarin. Panarin lobs this one down near side. Rocky Bell looking for the one-timer shot from the red line, but not quite able to dice that one out. Crusade looking for a bank pass to himself. Lost to Flaccid. Flaccid shoots. Scores! And a 40-yard field goal brings the Plymouth Plague back within two. Is that math right? I don't think that's right. Like, you know. No, that's about right. Yeah. Wow. How about that? <laughs> 40 yards, 120 feet. Yeah, that's about right. How about that? I'm pretty good at math, eh? Flats of Lettuce lost towards the topside boards. Rocky Bow picking this one up, trying to take this one out for Colorado, but Flats bringing this one back towards the topside, out in front, looking to dish the team, but Rocky Bow just has to hold W, and he hits the post crusade, not able to beat it out either. Oh my goodness, the plot thickens. Flats of Lettuce here with a dump and gets this one down the full length of the ice here in the second period of action. 3.35 remaining. And that's a fat rip if I've ever seen one. Panarin down the near side, hits up Rocky Bow. Rocky Bow off the forehand, stopped up by Flaccid Lettuce, set back down the length of the ice. Here's Panarin with it now. Panarin towards the top side of the board, stopped up by Rominator, almost able to score off the hip from that read, but not quite able to get it. And Panarin just sends down a 40 yard field goal of his own. And we're back to a three goal difference. All part of the plan. We have 315 remaining in the second period of three. We have a three goal difference. Panarin Rominator battle against each other on the top side boards. Bring this one back for Plymouth. Here's T, the captain of the Plymouth Plague. Trying to take this one down using the goal as a little bit of a leverage maker. Trying to get this one away from Crusade. Sent down the near side. Goes off the hip of Panarin. Down even farther into the defensive end of the Colorado zone. Panarin sent to the top side board. Trying to get this one out from his own end. Glass is stopping him up at the point. Able to beat him out. Rominator with nobody home but the doorstep. And he walks up on that one. Knocks on the door. Says, how do you do? And the Plymouth Plank have their third. Incredible stuff. Keeping the, this game within two goals. Plymouth has done a really good job at just keeping the pedal to the metal. Not giving them a whole lot. Easy Crusade almost able to score a goal from T-Zom. A little bit of a limp pass. Well, let's see him try it again. Getting this one all the way down to Rominator. Pass Panarin. Panarin here, the former Columbus Clapper. Down the near side trying to get this one over to Rocky, but just going past him. Um, might have gone through his stomach. I'm not entirely sure about that. Panarin there with a nice save. Gets this one towards the topside corner. Rominator. Down low for the plague off the back end. Hits uh, Rocky Bow. Flash the lettuce out at the point. Trying to get involved in, into the play as well. Rominator knocked loose down the near side. T. Panarin doing battle with the stick. Forcing Panarin towards the top side of the boards. Off the forehand. Lobs this one out. Hits Ro Rominator. Rominator down low. Shoots. Scores right in the top corner. And the hats go flying. 204 remaining in this period of action. What an absolute sniper. Beamed it into the upper 90. With 204 remaining. One goal's the difference. Plymouth bringing this one back. Panarin. Back behind his own goal. Looking to lean towards the top side of the ice. Off the forehand. Dishes this one out on target. Good block by T out at his own point. Able to keep that one to come to fruition. Crusade back behind his own goal. Backhand wraparound. Looking for the shot. Goes off. Flash it down the length of the ice, but not quite able to hit the netting. Unfortunate, but yet. Um, Plymouth, not on the defensive end anymore, so it's not all bad. Panarin, off Rom. Rom steals it away. Rocky Bow able to get a little stick action going at the near side point. Shot by Rominator, almost able to pick the pocket, but not quite able to. Backhand pass from Flaccid to T. T over to Flaccid in the corner. Able to ring this one down to the near side. Rom Rominator looking to reverse this one. Out for a shot, almost able to hit the 15-degree opportunity. But just going off the far side wide, Flaccid recalibrates this one back over to T. T lobs this one into the far side corner of the Colorado Territory. And Panarin... We'll pick it up for the Cobras. 
And Aaron off the forehand looking for Rocky Bo. Just going past him down the length of the ice. Here's T. Off the backhand, stopped up by a Crusade. Rocky Bo goes off last. And Crusade with a final say in that one. Not quite able to hit that wraparound. Down the near side. Here's Crusade. Crusade looking to send this one back out to the point. Panarin with a shot off the near side. Cage comes on to Crusade. Crusade keeping this one going for the Cobras. Bringing this one down the near side off the forehand. Pass back to the point. Panarin over Car Rocky Bo. Not quite wanting that one. Back out in the middle of the point. Let go. Flash Lettuce back into the defensive end for Colorado. Here's Panarin. Top side out to Rocky Bo at the offensive points. Not able to take that one with um, finesse. Crusade almost able to bite the hand that feeds him. T able to play with fire. I don't know how that worked out. But T is able to get it out of the defensive end. Six feet from his own crease. What? I don't, I don't know if that was a flex. If it was a flex, all right. It worked out. Flazzoletta, 10 seconds remaining. Down to the near side, able to get this one over to T. T off the backhand, trying to get this one through. Rocky, but shot saved by Flazzoletta. Flazzoletta with the backhand opportunity, trying to get it off the boards. In time, nice shot. It's the post, and that's going to come back out. Unbelievable. That's the end of the second period. Four for Plymouth, five for Colorado. Shots are even. Did not expect that stat to be on my spreadsheet. So are the passes. Takeaways a little lopsided. Colorado having six more than the Plymouth Plague. But um, as all six parties are ready to rock, ready to roll, we're going to jump back down onto the ice to get the remainder of this first matchup of four this evening underway. Puckers drop. The game is on, and the final chapter is about to be written. Colorado Cobras on the right. The Plymouth Plague on the left. Rominator leaving this one to leak out into the neutral zone. Battle up against Rocky Bows. Rominator sends this one down to the near side with a retrieval. It's a T. T off the backhand, sends this one down near side, even farther out of his own zone. Aaron there picking this one up on Colorado's end, sends this one down near side out to the point, looking for Crusade over to Rocky, but not able to beat out Flaccid Lettuce on that pass. Here's Panarin out of the point, shot blocked away by Flaccid. Flaccid lobs it down, hits the side of the cage, just going wide by mere feet. Flaccid not quite able to beat out Crusade, sent down the near side. T able to send this one towards the top side point, off the forehand, sent, looking for Flaccid just a little behind him on that pass. Here's Panarin leaning top side off the backhand. The forehand. Looking to send this one out with a little bit of sauce. T controlled back out the other way, trying to get it off the forehand. Shot towards the net, got off the near side over to far. Nice try by Rominator. Not able to stick, get the stake over the puck. Now one hits the side of the cage, and Panarin takes possession out for the Colorado Cobras. Off the forehead of Flash. And Flash is bringing this one out the other way for a two on one. Panarin gets right into the Jimmies, gets it all jammed up, and that scoring chance goes by the wayside. T back in his own end. Stomped off by Crusade. Crusade there lobs it over to Rocky Bo. Rominder retrieving this one on the back check. Able to take this turn away. Shooting this one on target. Rominder with nothing but ice in his veins. Able to keep that one from going in. Cobras remain with a one goal lead because of it. 337 remaining here in this third period of action. We play on. Crusade off flaccid. Sent back to T. T. Treads his own goal line. Throws this one topside. Pin and Rominator with a beautiful panhandle. Gets the puck on top of his stick. A little stick lift gives it a little bit of extra go. Ro Rocky Bow stopped up by T over to Rom. Down to Flaccid. Flaccid dangles past one. Rocky Bow with a stick check loosens this one up. Here's Panarin. Sent topside out to his own point. Here's Rocky Bow off the back end. Shooting off the far side. Rebound comes out to T. T, the captain of the Plymouth Plague. Down the near side. Gets this one lobbed out. Gives his team some time to breathe with three minutes remaining. In this final period of regulation, Rock. Panarin goes off, Flaccid Crusade with a shot, hits the pipe on the top left corner. Not pass to go, not collecting $200. T with a nice bang, trying to get that one out of his own zone. Rocky Boat controls that one back into the Plymouth territory. Here's T, back for the boys in green. Down the near side, Panarin stopping him up. Rominator trying to keep this one forced to the near side boards as it's harder to shoot from the outside. Crusade with a, a puck on the doorstep, not quite able to kick it in between the door. T. Top side to Flaccid. Flaccid looking to reverse that one back down. Crusade not letting that happen. Rocky Bo sent down to the near side of his own defensive end. Ro Panarin with a long bomb. Not quite able to hit that one home. T. Down behind his own cage. Crusade there stops him up for a moment. T. Off the back end. Shooting off the far side. Good block by Panarin. Panarin off the forehand. Reverses that one back up for his own. A little goalie war action. T. At the red line. Over to Flaccid. Down in the slot. Shot. Nice save by Panarin. Aaron down the far side, tries to get this one out to Crusade just wide. As T will pick this one up, trying to take this one down the near side. Rocchio stomps him off. Panarin with a beautiful shot, but Flash let it sends the net neatly. Shot off the far side. Plymouth remain with a one goal deficit. Rominator not letting that be so. As he tries to take this one out for a wraparound controlled by Crusade. Rominator pinches that one off. Flash it down the near side, tries to get this one over to T. Panarin there with a nice dump out. Goes off the boards and down the length. 
As Plymouth back on the defensive end, flash it, lanes towards the top side of the ice, finds a little bit of elbow room. He'll take it down the near side, looking for T. T not having any faith on that one as it's let go by Rocky Bow. And Aaron will pick it up, thrown top side. Crusade at the point, shot over the netting. T getting a touchdown in the corner. Rocky Bow trying to stop him up for the Cobras off the back end, out to the point. And Aaron almost able to send that one packing, but Rocky Bow with a nice shot off the side of the cage, brought back over to T. T here for the Plymouth Plague, leaning towards the top side of the ice. Taking this one off the back end. Banks this one off the boards. Flash it over to Rom. Rom here with the back end. Shot. Not quite able to send that one packing. As Panarin take the puck under his own possession. Taking this one down the near side under his own volition. Bang pass over to Crusade. Crusade off the back end. Nice shot by Rocky Bow. And they have their sixth of the game. And Rocky Bow with a hat trick. Beautiful tick. Beautiful tack out in front. Rocky Bow had nothing but free real estate to shoot that one into the back of the twine. And he did just that off the near side pipes. With one minute remaining. Plymouth Plague have their work cut out for them. T down the near side, trying to take this one off the hip. The forehand stopped up by Crusade. T trying to get this one through traffic. Rocky Boat stopping him up along the way as well. Crusade gets this one out of his own zone. T picks this one up for the Plymouth Plague. Off the forehand, gets this one down low. Panarin there with a nice direction. Keeps that one wide of the netting. Panarin, blasted lettuce. Getting a touch on this one. Trying to get this one back for his captain. T keeps his board battle going. Wins this one away, but that is controversial. As Panarin throws this one back out. Flash lettuce down the near side, finds Rom. Rom with 30 seconds remaining, trying to get this one back for a, a shot opportunity just about anywhere. Rocky Bow stops this one up along the top side board, takes it down to the corner. Panarin reversing this one, top side point. T sends this one back down low. Panarin down the near side, off the back end, trying to dangle out his opponent. Able to find some free real estate with 13 seconds remaining. Lobs this one down, goes off Rocky Bow, and Crusade will sweep it under the rug. Wow! Good pass by Panarin, good catch by Rocky Bow, and the finishing touch. Just mwah. With 11 seconds remaining, that might just spell the end of this matchup here this evening. I think we found our victory, but Rominator not done yet. Looking for the shot, not quite able to clock it in at a Mach 2. But nonetheless, that is going to be the end of this first matchup of Fortnite. Plymouth Plague falling to the Colorado Cobras. 4-7, to seven, the final score there. Goal scores of the match. We don't get that. All right, fine. Whatever. Just kick me out to the menu. I don't even care. Those are some of the most even stats I think we've seen all season. 25 takeaways, a two takeaway difference, a two pass difference, even shots, two difference on the saves, two difference on the posts hit, and I think we have one face-off draw in favor of Plymouth. I could be wrong, I could be right. Who's to say? Um, yeah, very even, very even. Can't wait to see these two play against each other yet again as we move into the tail end of the season everybody in the pro and challenger division play each other two times so uh, we'll get to see this matchup yet again later on in week five week four five or six i'm not entirely sure it's probably weeks i don't know all right let's keep our ears to the ground and see what happens as we move on in week two of spl rebound season number three to move on into the night, the next matchup, Plymouth Play taking on the Winter Park Owls. Thank you for tuning in to the SPO Network. We will be right back in about five minutes to start our next pregame segment.